Today I'm going to be showing you how to use some of Google's labs uh, to become more efficient and more effective uh, during your day-to-day -day tasks. So the first thing we're going to take a look is mail. So if you're logged into your Google account, go ahead and click on your mail tab. This will bring up your email. Now if you notice, my email setup looks probably a little bit different from yours. And that's because I've turned on some gadgets in the labs feature. So to do that, we can go over and click on our settings button, and then click on settings again. Now at the very top tab, you'll see one that says labs. Go ahead and click on labs. From there, you can see all of these different labs or gadgets that can be turned off or turned on. And this is called enabled or disabled and I will go ahead and show you the ones that I have turned on or enabled right now. For one, I have my Google Calendar gadget. This allows me to preview my Google Calendar right inside of my mail. I also have inserting images on, which easily allows me to insert images into my mail. Next, I've enabled a message sneak peek, which allows me to simply right click on any one of my conversations and it opens up a sneak preview of what that message says without actually having to um, click on the message itself. I've also enabled a preview pane, which will allow me to see all of my mail messages, and then I can also preview individual messages that I click on. I've included a right side chat, which means that I can see all of my coworkers that are online right now, but now it's off to the right hand side. And finally, I have enabled the undo send button. We all know sometimes we accidentally hit send or enter for some reason and we didn't really mean to send a message. This allows us to have a button that stays up for 30 seconds, which will allow us to click undo to unsend the message. And there are a lot more if you scroll down um, on your own time because you might find that some are more valuable than others. So that's labs within Gmail. Now let's go to Google Calendar. We can do the same thing in Google Calendar by clicking on settings and clicking on settings or just going immediately right to labs. This will enable or disable some different gadgets that we can use for our labs in our calendar. One of the ones that I have is called gentle reminders. Um, I like to have a little pop up that reminds me when I have some events coming up. So this will be a gentle reminder that will pop up in the bottom right hand side of your screen. Uh, that will remind you of different events coming up. And I also have event attachments where it allows me to attach a file uh, to an event. So if I invite someone to an event, I can easily attach maybe an agenda of that event uh, for that specific time. And there are a bunch of other uh, gadgets that you can look at to see if you might be interested in enabling uh, for your Google account. And the last trick I'd like to show you is in our general settings or our basic calendars. So if I'm on my calendar and I click this little down arrow, I can choose to set up reminders and notifications. Where it says event reminders, by default, I have a pop-up reminder which will um, allow just a little pop-up to show up in the bottom right hand corner every 15 minutes before each event. Now I can also add a new reminder or I can change this to an email, and I can change the time, and I can also change um, if I want it to be hours, days, or weeks. So you can add as many reminders as you'd like, and you can change the way in which it will notify you. So these are just a couple little tips and tricks um, how to stay more effective and more efficient uh, throughout our day-to-day -day tasks. So I hope this has been helpful for you and um, feel free to check out some of the different labs within our Gmail accounts.